to my channel. The normal life of Layla. Um, so we're at my brother's soccer practice. Uh, right now, we're in a different park than usual. Um, it just looks like the world ends right there. Like we're on Roblox or something. Oh, this grass is itchy. Um, um, sorry, there's a fire over here. It's not like fire. And it was all fo oogie, foggy. Um, okay. So yeah, that's why. Oh, boy. Um, so we're at my brother's soccer practice. We're at a totally different place than usual. Last week, he started on um, Thursday last week. Um, um, my leg is itchy. And... Um, it was at a different park, and then we're at this park. Whoa. This is a different park. My hair is all curly, because I had a whole bunch of braids and stuff. What is that? Wait, where? Right there. What is that? Airplane? Anyways. Um... Yeah. Oh, it's itchy, it's itchy, it's itchy. Um, there's a few hills in on Lila. <sighs> there was a whole bunch of feathers. And there was a dead bird. But not just a bird. It wasn't the body, it was the head. With the beak and everything. Oh, it, it, it was bad. And then the corners... And then Connor stepped on it. It smushed like flat. And then, yeah, it was so sad. So yeah, um, there were so many feathers right by it. So yeah, guys, there's social distancing still. So yeah, but today's video, I am going to be telling you guys some story types. My hair is like not wanting to deal with anything on me. Um, I don't want to stand. It's itchy. Guys, look at my leg. It's red because I was itching it because it itched. So, yeah. I was like this. Whoa. So, yeah, it's hot but windy at the same time. I'm going to tell you guys two story times I have in mind. Let me get water really quick. So I'm going over there in the shade. So these story times I'm going to be showing you. They are from like a long time ago. From a long time ago. And so, yep. It's one of them. Two of them were both really scary. Um, so yeah. It's just. Let's just get into it. What was it? So. I'll tell you one of them. So. What is this? These leaves. Oh. 
water right in the sun. Okay, so I thought there was a bird over there, but it was just a leaf. Okay. So I want to sit down to do this. Just kind of. Okay, so I'm here with my cousin. And where is my cousin? And we were at this store. We were gonna go like on a walk at this beautiful place. And um, so yeah, we were at, we were at this store to buy some things. And my stepdad was in the car, and I think we had to go bathroom. And so we went in. And we were talking about how like we stay close because like people you know so we were talking about that and we went made it to the bathroom and there was like a girl's bathroom and then a boy's bathroom and we were all in the girl's bathroom and in the boy's bathroom there was the person that was following us the whole time he was following us the whole time and um I don't even know if my mom actually knew that he was following us, and that's probably why she was talking about that. Um, and so, yeah. And when we were in the bathroom, she was like whispering to us, like, you know, like, he's on the other side of the bathroom, like, you gotta be quiet, okay? We gotta be out of here. And so then, we went to the entrance. Entrance. So, we made it out of the bathroom, and we were walking, and I guess my mom told me that the guy walked just right by me, like, this close to me, um, and we were looking for the entrance just to get out of there, like, get out of there, and we made it to an entrance, but it was the wrong one to, like, come in or something, one that wasn't open or something like that, and so we had to go find another different one and so we were like going around the store like trying to find it and we finally found it and then we just left and I think we saw him but in different clothes and I think he changed clothes so yeah that was one of the story times the person was following us in the store because we were going to the bathroom and he followed us either and blah, blah, blah. And we couldn't find that a chance to get out of the, the place and then I'm going to tell you guys this other short story time that happened at night. It's nothing like scary, scary, scary. Like, what do you call it? Like, someone broke into my house or anything. Like that. It was about Connor. So, uh, I woke up. It was like, maybe like 2 in the morning. I woke up and I heard my brother crying, Connor. I heard Connor crying. And I was like, Connor, what's wrong? Like, it was when me and JJ and Connor shared around. I was like, Connor, what's wrong? And he wasn't answering me. He was just, like, still crying. I kept on asking him, Connor, what's wrong? And I looked at him and I was like, Connor, what's wrong? And then he wasn't answering me, but he was still crying. And so I yelled, like, for my mom. And my mom came in. And Connor was, like, trying to say, like, I can't breathe. <sighs> and my mom was like, I got to take you to the hospital. Like, we have to go to the hospital. So, before we left, my mom gave him some medicine. And I was like, can I go? And she was like, no, no, no. Because um, she didn't know what, like, what was going to happen. She was like, no. And JJ was still asleep. And she was like, no. And so, my stepdad, my mom woke up my stepdad. He gave Connor medicine and gave him some water and he was a little bit more better, but we still had to go to the doctors because he was still having a hard time breathing. So then she went to the doctors. And as you guys know, as you guys know, he was okay. So yeah, that's that was that story time. Um, that one was really scary too. Um so yeah, because I didn't know what was wrong with Connor. Like he was not responding, answering to me at, at all. And I was like, he's not breathing. Like he's not breathing. So yeah. Um, 
that was that story time. I might tell you guys one more. Let's see. What else? The last time I had a seizure. So, we are at our old house. My brothers were playing in the playroom and I was pushing the stroller around and I had the toy, toy high heels. You know those toy high heels? And I was walking, I was walking across to the living room, to the playroom. And my mom and my stepdad um, were in the room. My mom was using the restroom. And all of a sudden I slipped. And when I slipped, um, JJ was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And like, my booty hurt. And then, this is just all I remember. And then, all of a sudden, like, gone. Like, gone. And then my mom, and then I guess JJ ran in to the bedroom and was like looking for my mom and was she was in the bathroom. And he was like, you know, like, does he have his seizure or something like that? And, and so, my mom came out, and then I remember she was walking me down the hallway, and I woke up, and my stepdad, Benji, he was on the phone, and I knew he was, like, calling the paramedics or something. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing? And then, <sighs> paramedics came. I don't remember if it was the ambulance or fireman, but they came and they put this thingy on my toe and then, yeah. So that was a seizure day. That was actually my very last seizure. So yeah. So anyways, I told you guys three story times, I might tell you guys more. If I have any more. Um, sure I do. If I have any that I remember. Um, maybe. Um. a buggy on me. Let's get out of this grass. Hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you get notified every single time I make a new video. Bye.